Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ohio rally goer stands in salute behind Trump. Then the president turns around. President Trump had yet another rally over this past weekend. He has been participating in several over the past month, all across the country, especially in Ohio. The focus of the rallies has been in supporting vulnerable blue state Republicans and vulnerable red state Republicans in preparation for primaries as well as the general election come November. By coming to the state and rallying the base, the White House is hoping that they will be able to garner the necessary support for their vulnerable Republican colleagues to win re-election and maintain the majority in the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Daily Caller reported. As President Trump walked into a rally Saturday evening in Ohio, a lone gentleman wearing an Army t-shirt stood at attention behind the podium, his right hand raised in a salute. The man watched the president circle the podium, standing firm and holding the salute until President Trump, turning to survey the crowd, snapped to attention and returned the salute. President Trump was in Ohio campaigning with Ohio State Senator Troy Balderson, who faces Democrat Danny O'Connor in a special election on August 7. That election is being held to determine who will replace retiring Republican Rep. Pat Tiberi. Also standing alongside the president at Saturday's rally was Ohio Rep. Jim Jordan, who just recently announced that he would be throwing his own hat into the ring to replace retiring House Speaker Paul Ryan. While USA Today reported, President Donald Trump took aim at the investigation into Russian election meddling Saturday evening at an Ohio rally then seemed to compare the two-year probe to a report about an alleged Chinese spy that worked for Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein. After talking about the ongoing trade war with China and tariffs that the administration has placed on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods, Trump talked about the report, threats to the U.S. and the Russia investigation. Speaking of China, it just came out that the Democratic leader and the leader of the Russian investigation, Dianne Feinstein, had a Chinese spy as her driver for 20 years. Trump told the crowd. And she's leading the Russian investigation if that's what you call it. How about she's leading the Russia witch hunt? Feinstein is not running the special counsel investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. It's headed by Robert Mueller and under the authority of U.S. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Feinstein addressed reports Saturday about the alleged spy by posting on Twitter that the situation dated back five years ago when the FBI alerted her to the possibility. The FBI told me five years ago it had concerns that China was seeking to recruit an administrative member of my California staff, she wrote. I took those concerns seriously learned the facts and made sure the employee left my office immediately. The driver was terminated, she said, and he never had access to any sensitive information. Trump said that he likes the California Democrat but I don't like the fact that she had a Chinese spy driving her and she didn't know it. He then appeared to mock that Feinstein is among one of many Democrats who has questioned Trump and his campaign's connections to Russia. Then she says to me, well, what did you know about this and that, I mean, give me a break, come on folks. Trump told the crowd. Trump told the crowd that he expects more attacks and meddling attempts because of his tough policies and because of how hard he's been on China. We got to stop meddling. We got to stop everyone from attacking us but there are a lot, he said. I guarantee you it's gonna happen really big now because we are taking our wealth back. Even though the president took some jabs at Democrats in the Senate, the most powerful moment of the evening was when he interacted with that veteran, locked eyes with him, and saluted back. The president has made it clear that he loves the United States, he wants to put it first, and that he will aim to do so in trade negotiations and diplomacy. This is why our veterans love our president so much and want to go out of their way to pay homage to him and show their respect. They understand what it is like to have a president that values our armed services, puts them first, and honors the sacrifices they have made. President Trump has always done that and will continue to that, and this is why he continues to win in his capacity as president. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.